Yo, 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 what's up guys? It's Willy Cuz and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. Part of our franchise playthrough. This is gonna be part five, and I hope you guys enjoy. Home was harder than I thought. I expected the journey would fill me with a sort of pride, a sense of accomplishment. But whatever it was that carried me away from home soon fled, replaced by questions and no small amount of doubt. Had I been too hasty? Had I made a mistake? The others in the village, they thought this was something I wanted, something I chose to do. But it never felt that way to me. No, it was not a choice. It was an obligation. Because if not me, then who? Get out of the way! After him! Must be one of them native fellas eh, from the uh, eh, what's it called? Iroquois <laughs> tribe. Hi, you from that? Of course not, Terry. Iroquois ain't a tribe. Is so? Is not. The Iroquois is a confederation. Confederate what now? Just give it a few days. Tend to the wounded, resupply, and come up with a plan. Sent Enoch to private matters being discussed here. Best you move along. What? Um, I... I was told you could train me. No. Go away! I'm not leaving! I need a place to camp. This should do.
There must be another way in. Please, all I ask is a moment of your time. I apologize if I've been unclear or otherwise confused you with my words. It was never my intention to mislead, so let me try to clarify. Get the hell off my land! I'm coming up! Hear me out. What are you so afraid of? Afraid? You think I'm afraid of anything? Least of all a self-important little scab like you? Ah. <clears throat> oh, you might dream of being a hero. Of riding to rescues. Of saving the world. But stay this course, and the only thing you're gonna be is dead. world's moved on, boy. Best you do, too. I will not leave, do you hear me? I'm never leaving. Just wait, old man. I will not be defeated so easily. You will train me. You have to. These are square toes. This'll be easy. That's what you said last time, and I wound up with a dead horse and a dark eye. Who are you? No one you need concern yourself with, little bridges. Best cut for something bad happens. No. Can't say we didn't warn you. What do you want? You working for the old man then? That it? Maybe this will get you talking. Oh. Thank you. Clean this up. I suppose we should talk. Sorry. Not your fault. This whole place is ready to come down. Goddamn miracle it hasn't already. Anyway, who are you? 
My name is Rado Hangado. Right. Well, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Now, tell me why you're here. I was told to seek this symbol. Do you even know what that symbol represents? Or what it is you're asking for? No. And yet, here you are. The spirit said that... that These I am... spirits of yours have been harassing the assassins for centuries. Ever since Ezio uncorked the bottle. Uh, but you don't even know what an assassin is, do you? Well, best settled in then. I've got a story to tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. And so, this is why the Assassins have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of the Templars. Because if they succeed, your spirit's visions will become reality. Then I will stop them. Oh, I have no doubt you'll try. <sighs> Come on, I've something to show you. Careful. Uh, wasn't a joke when I said this place was coming apart. Why don't you repair it? What's the point? Besides, I don't have materials for the job. So buy them. <laughs> Look at me! You think I can just march into some store purse full of pounds and go shopping? Yes. Why not? I'm so naive. This way. You can just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself an assassin. I, I did not. I, I would never presume... That's all right. I know they've a certain allure. Very well. I'll train you. Then we'll know if you've the right to wear those robes. Thank you. Um... Name's Achilles. Come on, then. We've work to do. You are a speck of dust, a nothing. You and all your kind, living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. What do the Templars want? What they've always wanted, control. They see an opportunity in the colonies, a chance for new beginnings, unfettered by the chaos of the past. This is why they back the British. Here they have a chance to illustrate the merits of their beliefs, a people in service to the principles of order and structure. I have seen what is to come if they succeed. They have to die, don't they? All of them. Even my father. Especially your father. He's the one holding the whole thing together. So I trained, in running, in climbing, in fighting, in falling. And for every lesson that concerned the body, there were two that concerned the mind. 
language, philosophy, logic, the arts. Achilles taught most often of the assassins and Templars, their structures, origins, and purpose. Centuries of history condensed into a few short days. I told him of the men who had burned my village, of Charles Lee and my promise to him. Achilles explained that Lee and his followers were Templars, and that they were led by none other than my own father. If I was to serve the order, these men would become my targets. So I worked harder, learned faster, but for all my progress, it was clear that I still had much to learn. My training had only just begun. Dude, I don't know what was happening there. Like, there was like a white out inside the house. <laughs> like the blizzard glitched through the damn walls. I've never seen that one before. I swear to God, game, these games, there's always like some new glitch I've never seen before that happens. Only when I'm recording and it just like, it ruins the cinematic, <laughs> um... What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, immersion of the damn game, and it just pisses me off. Good morning. To you as well. You taking a trip? I've decided to do something about the house, and you're going to help me. Get it? Incredible. The people, the sounds and smells. I could walk these streets for days and know not even half its wonders. I thought the same as you upon a time. These days, I much prefer the quiet of the countryside. But there is so much life here. So many opportunities. For a few, my boy. For a few. There's a store close to here. You're to buy the items on this list. Tell them where the carriage is, and they'll see that it's loaded. Understood? Yes. Good. You're also going to need a new name. Your skin is fair enough that you might pass for one with uh, Spanish or Italian blood. Better to be thought a Spaniard than a native. And both are better still than I. That is not true. What's true and what is aren't always the same. What would you call me then? Connor. Yes, that will be your name. All right then, off you go. Customs Act. Oh, Chancellor Townsend must have thought himself so clever when he papered these thefts and made them law. But the Constitution says we've a right to refuse. That there will be no taxation without representation. Tell me, who represented us in Parliament? Who spoke on our behalf? Signed in our stead? Give me a name. Only you can't. And you know why? You can't tell me who represented us because nobody did.
You lost? I need the items on this list. Will you be paying with coin or trade? Some of these things I have, some I don't. Lumber's hard to come by since my supplier up and vanished. I have the tools and pitch, though. Nails, too. So, uh, where do you want this delivered? Our wagon is near the state house. And I'm gonna wrap this one up here. This is Assassin's Creed 3, and this is the end of part 5 of our playthrough. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one if you choose to stick around for it. Peace out.